Hey, welcome to the Rehab Mobile channel. This is Dr. Toby, the physical therapist and health coach, and I'm here to talk about how to start addressing a shoulder that is dislocated. If you have a dislocated shoulder or have an injury, I'm gonna break down in this video exactly what you want to start doing in a particular exercise that's gonna be really helpful to restabilize your shoulder. Now, if you are new to our channel, definitely take an opportunity to like this video and subscribe to our channel and stay connected to us by hitting the bell notification. Here at our channel, we help people to heal from pain so that they can transform their body and their fitness so that they can achieve the life and the health that they want. And we share videos on how to stay healthy, pain-free, fit, and mobile. So if you want more helpful content on how to uh, take care of your health, how to improve areas of pain in your body, you want to stay connected to all the content that we're doing, we're releasing here. All right, so let's get right into it. A dislocated shoulder. There are many forms of dislocated shoulder. You can have a shoulder that's dislocated forward and a shoulder that's dislocated backwards, and this can become really complex. The best way to address a dislocated shoulder is to actually go to a specialist and have them examine it and check it out. And that's gonna be helpful because they're gonna tell you which position your shoulder is dislocated in, but then also they'll be able to give you guidance on how to take a step-by-step -step approach to correct your dislocated shoulder if there's a need for surgery, things of that nature. Now, here's the biggest thing. One of the most common ways that people have a dislocated shoulder or get a dislocated shoulder is by falling on an outstretched arm, which is called a foosh injury. So that means maybe you were falling, you try to protect yourself and you reached your arm out and that can cause a dislocation in your shoulder or you're falling onto that shoulder and it, the force of the ground or whatever you're hitting pushes your shoulder in the opposite direction. So one of the basic exercises that you can do that'll be helpful if your dislocation is very mild or you just have poor posture or alignment for your shoulder maybe your shoulders are more rounded forward or hiked up this is really challenging because over time that can lead to your shoulder being out of alignment and i'm going to show you an exercise that's going to be really helpful but let's dig right into how you can understand uh, what severity level your shoulder is at. So number one, if you find that every time you put your shoulder or your arm in a certain position, it feels like it's popping or locking into, uh, going into a different position, then you're probably at a more moderate uh, to possibly severe dislocation in your shoulder. And again, you should check that, get that checked out. If you need some help or some guidance, you can reach out to us and I'll include that information in the description and also at the end of the video. So here's the exercise that you can do. It's really simple. So when you have a poor posture or your shoulders out of alignment, you want to activate your rotator cuff muscles, which are these muscles that are on the back of your shoulder, but also your rhomboids. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you. It's a really simple exercise. First of all, you wanna make sure that you're completely relaxed. You want your body to be relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed. A lot of times with these dislocations or other shoulder injuries, we have a tendency to guard and to hike our shoulders up but you wanna be completely relaxed. So one of the things I have people do is take a deep breath in and breathe out. <sighs> Facilitating your muscles, relaxing. Now, what you're gonna do is you are going to pull your shoulder blades together, preventing them from going up in the air. Pull your shoulder blades back together. As you can see, this part of my back is coming together and I'm holding that position and you can hold it for about three to five seconds. Now, if you're doing this exercise and it's causing a significant amount of pain, that can be another indication that you have a more moderate to severe dislocation in your shoulder. So one of the things that you want to do, like I've already mentioned, is get that checked out by a specialist who understands how to correct and to address the shoulder by doing an evaluation. So if this exercise doesn't feel like it's uh, discomforting or too significant pain, then this is one that you should continue with. So again, this exercise is bringing your shoulder blades together and it's really simple. Pull those shoulder blades together, hold it for three seconds. You want to avoid letting your shoulders hike up. You want to keep those shoulders together and keep them down. Hold it for three to five seconds and relax. Pull those shoulder blades together and relax. Now, you want to try doing this two sets of 10, holding it for five seconds, and you can do it at least twice a day. And this is going to be helpful for people who've maybe had a history of dislocating their shoulder 
and right now your shoulder isn't always painful. Sometimes when you're doing certain activities, it feels like it dislocates or it gets out of socket. This is going to be helpful for restabilizing that joint. So uh, you want to try this exercise and do it pretty regularly. Again, you're just sitting still, pulling your shoulders together, avoiding the shoulders from coming up to maintain that proper alignment. Pull them together, hold it. If this causes any severe, sharp pain, numbness, tingling, stop immediately and get some help from a professional. And again, I'll give our information toward the end. But hopefully this video is able to give you an exercise that's really helpful. And this is going to help you to re-correct the alignment of the shoulder, helping the muscles that are responsible for stabilizing the shoulder to activate. And it'll help a lot. This is just one step and you recovering but ultimately one exercise won't be enough but this is a great starting point to help you start experiencing some relief even when it comes to how you're sitting when you have discomfort while sitting down or even your position of your shoulder when you're sleeping it'll help you give some relief in that context as well so uh, if you benefited from this video please leave a comment let us know what was your biggest takeaway and what you benefited from and share it with a friend if you know somebody who could benefit from it uh, lastly, if you're looking for some help with your shoulder, you want to get your shoulder back to 100% so that you can lift weights, sleep comfortably, uh, get back into the gym, or do whatever activities you're unable to do, or maybe even just work without having pain in your shoulder, uh, go ahead and reach out to us. You can do a few options of contacting us. Number one, you can text us at 301-900-3226. Text shoulder pain to 301 301- 900-3226 and we will get in contact with you. You can also go to our website rehabmobile.com and hit the button that says talk to a PT first and we will reach out to you and get you some great information on how you can restore your shoulder because not every exercise is one size fits all. So sometimes you need a specific approach. So if this exercise that I demonstrated isn't helpful for you, that's not a problem. It just means that there's a specific issue that you have to have addressed which requires some specific guidance. So Again, I hope this was helpful. Hope it was beneficial. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more content. All right. Take care.